The Invisible World I can see the world that I live in, this world so beautiful, so grand, so majestic, and yet I cannot see all of it. My perceptions from family and social conditioning limit me from seeing all the beauty. I live in one location, so I cannot see everything that makes my world grand. Expansion and reduction can be so majestic, but I cannot see the stars too close, or the quantum field of energy too close. But I still know that I live wonderfully in this invisible world. I love nature. I don't mind that gravity keeps me down and close to nature. My thoughts can always soar like an eagle and take me past the stars in my imagination. I can be on the forefront of thought and still surrender poetically to gravity. I love nature. I am aware that humans are 70% water. I was conceived by two cells of water. Humans are light energy in human form. Light gives life to humanity. Light gives color to the rose. Light gives mankind awareness of his intelligence and power to create energy into motion. Light is love in its power to create. I take the time to be kind to others. Strangers are kind to me with smiles and gestures. When I wake up each day I am happy. I start my day with the positive motion of thinking. My experiences will be delightful to appreciate and to be grateful. The more positive energy that I radiate, the more positive energy shines on me. I understand that bad things happen to good people. I embrace my power to turn around any bad experience in life with my positive attitude. This self-control benefits me and all those around me. All energy has rhythm. I offer no resistance to my focus on intention and thought. My actions show my trust by integrating my life energy into the flow of all the rhythms of energy changes. My energy can flow in consistent peace, like a dance of angels. I am enough. I neither need anything more nor anything less. Despair has a lesson, just as elation has its lesson. I am still me, and I am defined by how I value life. I am worthy just because I exist. I am self-control. I am able to construct my thoughts for good. I am able to exert my good energy into actions for my benefit and for the benefit of others. I am saying the affirmations of my desires now and the universe accepts the gestation as I become prepared in the receptive mode for the abundance the universe always manifests just for me. I am eternally grateful for all that I have, all that I am, and I speak my thankfulness aloud every day. I am thankful to know that a higher consciousness created all the energy that surrounds me in this world. I am grateful for the response, ability to watch my thoughts become a reality that I can see, feel, and appreciate. 
I am aware of everything I am, consciously open to comprehend. I am learning and receiving the light by my participation and expansiveness of belief. I am open to continue co-creating with my thoughts in all of the dimensions that are open to me at this stage of my spiritual development.